it's our first duty as, as the British government and as governments around the world that we make sure that we put in every measure conceivable to keep people safe. I think everybody understands that. We're dealing with a, a threat, a range of threats from around the world, from people who want to do us harm, and they're constantly uh, trying to find new ways of doing us harm, and that's why we need to also do new things to keep us safe. We hope, we believe, the majority of travellers will not be disrupted, but I also hope that people who will be subject to these new checks understand that this is for one simple reason, to keep people safe. The groups, the violent extremists, the terrorists who want to do us harm are constantly looking at new ways that they can seek to harm us and that's why we need to constantly review whether we need to implement new ways of keeping us safe and that is what these new security checks at airports are all about. We constantly keep the whole issue of aviation security under constant review along with our international partners and also uh, the aviation industry. I would like to reassure the travelling public that uh, we've got one of the toughest uh, security regimes in the world along with the United States. It's very important that we take these measures to protect the travelling public. There has to be uh, extra checks that are made but those will be made in the course of events going through the security that people already go which are already fairly stringent as it is um, and I hope there will not be significant delays. Obviously we'll work with the airports to try and make sure that that is not the case, that people who are either going on business or going away on holiday uh, get away on time.